Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace or clean your mass airflow sensor on an ND Mazda Miata. Let's get right into it. All right, with your hood open, you could find the sensor. That sensor is right here. So what we're going to do is remove these two Phillips head screws and then that'll come out. To remove these, you could use anything with the Phillips head bit, screwdriver, drill, or anything that you want. All right, put these somewhere where you're not gonna lose them. We'll be able to lift the sensor out of place in the intake. And we also could remove the sensor itself from this right here. To do that, there's a lever right here. So you're gonna press that. And as you can see, it's lifting this side over there. All right, so now if you're replacing the sensor, you could go ahead and plug your new one in. In my case, I don't have a new one on hand and I'm trying to get rid of a check engine light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this thing. To do that, you wanna use mass airflow sensor cleaner. You don't wanna use anything more harsh or less aggressive than this because it might mess up the sensor and not do the trick. So what you need to do is spray air into the openings on this container here. And then I'm gonna hit that thing right there with cleaner as well. All right, now I'm just gonna shake the sensor a bit and turn it so any excess cleaner that's in there could get out and then I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then I'll put it back into the vehicle. Now's a good time to let you know that if you love the Mazda Miata like I do, I have a bunch of stuff linked down below from shirts to other little trinkets and things related to the Miata that you might love. Check that out down in the description below and now let's put the sensor back into the vehicle. All right, now we're gonna reinstall the sensor. So we're just gonna carefully put that back where it came from, get our screws back in place, and now we'll tighten those down. I do wanna say that if the O-ring on the sensor looks like it was in bad shape, it could cause a vacuum leak at the intake, which could cause problems. Mine looked like it was in pretty good shape. All right, that's back in place. And now we can just push this connector back on it'll clip and now we're good to go so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like a comment below and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i hope this helped you fix your problem and i hope to see you at the next one